<laughs> yeah, that was me talking about shifting ceratops. Does anybody want to talk about shifting ceratops again? Because I'll talk about it all night. We talked about a lot of subject matter tonight. The uh... <laughs> yeah, we put in some dragon, carnage tyrant. Not... Uh, I'm a shifting ceratops fan. What does everybody in chat think of this matchup? By the way, who who's favored here? Who's gonna win this? Make your predictions now. This is our finals for tonight. Everybody's saying Omnito. Terminus and a four mana walker, yeah. Does have counter magic though. So ignoring Phil's specific list, how is the Omnitel versus traditional miracles matchup look? Who's favored? Omnitel? I would I would think so. So the winner of this is going to advance to our Wednesday night show, 8 p.m. Eastern, same place, on this Twitch channel. <laughs> hitting up our uh, chat group. Maybe we'll do an additional round tonight. Let's see. Yeah. We're playing before knowing. I mean, I yeah. could take it or leave. I feel like I, I mean, the way we, like the decisions I'm making are definitely, yeah. But that, that, that turn one ponder, definitely like in the dark, I'm like, okay, well, yeah. now I know what I'm looking for, you know? Right. Uh, I'm going to brainstorm. Not sure what they were talking about there. Damon573, thanks for the subscribe with Prime. Appreciate it. Today's storm count is two. Let's get some more subscribes with Prime. Boost that storm count. Yes, the white border lands are dreamy. Brainstorm resolves. Resolving, I should say. Hit with a brainstorm? Uh, sure. White border your popper deck. So popper is a format we still have not done on 90s MTG. And I know I said this already, but the poll on the bottom of the screen is a Twitter poll that we do every week to decide what formats we play on Monday night. So make sure if you love popper, you vote for popper. But how are the popper people in chat? Popper? Popper? How are the popper players in chat feeling about the new ban list update for popper? Um, and what decks you're going to try out in the new pauper meta. Let me know. Leon, thanks for the follow. Is ephemerate um, overwhelming the meta in, in pauper? I don't play Popper, so I'm not I'm not familiar with all the all the decks. You'll have to forgive me. But I was aware that Mystic Sanctuary was getting talked about as an issue, and it makes sense because it's powerful in other formats. And Popper seems oh, you just dislike it personally. Okay. Thanks for the follow. Alsacera. Oh, 
ephemerate for Stonehorn Dignitary Locks. Is that the is that the Rhino that gains four life? Am I thinking of the right card? I know I can just look it up. Oh, oh, skips combat. Right, 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 right. Okay. Oh yeah, that seems that seems annoying. What's what's tier one in in Popper now after the bans? What decks? Yeah, I'm familiar. With, I'm familiar with Ephemerate. Swinging for four here. Let's tune into the players. You're at um, you're at twelve now, Jesse. Correct, just twelve. Cool. Are we gonna see a Eureka here? <laughs> Torpor orb effects uh, are very common. Yep. Again, forgive me for my pauper ignorance, but why do you need torpor orb effects? What what cards does that stop? Specifically in pauper. I'll go to discard. Sure. Uh, I'll discard Emrakul trigger. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm done after that. She's going to shuffle. Okay. Uh, go to combat. Yep. I'm going to four. Uh, I have eight cards. I'm going to move to discard. Okay. Uh, discard Terminus. Go ahead. Um. <laughs> it's a very unexciting game for me. Um. Yeah, an unexciting game for Jesse for sure. I was just letting everybody hear what they were talking about here as we went down these final turns. What appears to be final turns. Hold on. Sure. All right. Let's see. What can I do here? Uh, before combat, yep. uh, I'm, I'm at four, right? You are at four. Yeah, I've got a three. All right, Jesse goes to three. Jesse feeling like this game has been unexciting for him. I guess he doesn't have his combos. Yeah, uh, it, you're a little bit ahead of me. I guess he can cunning wish for, I was trying to look at his sideboard, but maybe uh, release the ants makes the most sense here. Whether the storm doesn't really make sense. But. Okay, okay here's Cunning Wish. Um, Phil has seven cards in hand, so I don't think anything's going to resolve here. We'll see. Spell Pierce. What does chat think of Spell Pierce in Phil's list? Is it as of, is it out of place? Let me know what you think. 
Jesse thinking about Spell Pierce. Vela Summer. No, I think his Spell Pierce is in the main. Yeah, he has one Spell Pierce in the main, and I know you can't see how many are in the sideboard, but there are Spell Pierces of some quantity in the sideboard. Vela Summer gets forced here. Pitching to Ferry. Force some response to that. Go to your two. two. What is that force targeting? Uh, his force on my veil. Okay, cool. I'll force again, pitching another Teferi. Force targeting what? Uh, force targeting your veil of summer. Okay, and you have three cards left? I will have three cards after that. I'll cast a veil. Wow. Uh, sure. Okay, so now I draw two. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna draw two. Wow. Um, Cunning <laughs> Wish resolves. Yep. Yeah, slam those emotes for that one. Um, I'm gonna get Weather the Storm. Okay. Weather the storm, he decides. Uh, I'm going to gonna get. cast it and gain uh, 24 life. We got, uh, I've got one, two, storm three, count four, eight. five, six. I've got Cunning Wish. Oh, sorry. Pierce, Force, got... Force, Force, Veil, Veil, Weather, Storm 8. Yeah, Storm 8, so 24. Okay. Okay, so Cars I got. I have a uh, four. Okay. Um, so I go to 26. Okay. And then I'll take four and go to 22. Uh, second egg? Yep. Crack is Misty? Yep. Well, that was an interesting stack. Um, two veils resolve, drawing two cards at the end of a force, double force. Spell Pierce War. Um, Storm 8 would gain 27 total. Storm with the 8th card. Yeah, so there was there was 8 total copies. He said Storm 8, but there was 8 total copies of Weather the Storm. And in the end. Yeah. I actually don't know how many spells there were. I took their word for it, but. Um... Oh. Off the Earl, I'll put in a Flooded Strand. Is the Cunning okay. Wish exiled? Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you, chat. It is now, yeah. Very observant. I was not looking at his exile pile. Plus that stack was just, there was just so much going on that I completely forgot that Cunning Wish exiles. I'm a Burning Wish guy, personally. What are the best wishes? Oh, no, wait, there, there aren't that many wishes, are there? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a black wish, a white wish. Yeah, there's a wish for every color. What am I talking about? What are the best wishes that are not played in Legacy? That are played in other formats? Huh, there might not be any. Maybe there aren't any. Oh, glittering wish. That's right. Yeah, I was trying to think. There is a wish that's played in other formats. I couldn't think of what it was. Glittering wish. That's right. Thank you, chat. 
Faye of Wishes. Faye of Wishes is such a cool card. Faye of Wishes, I, I wish that was a thing in Legacy, just because I like it. Okay. Target Force Will? Sure. Mm -hmm. Hit you for four. Yep, 14. Uh, pass. Well, you can't play Wishes in Commander, right? The, the traditional, original, I mean, Wishes, Living Wish, Burning Wish. You can't play those in Commander, right? Three Wishes. Manipulate fate. Don't tell Leon. Mastermind's acquisition. That's the one that tutors for a card of your deck or your sideboard, right? Obviously Karn, yeah. I guess over time I thought there were more cards that access your sideboard, but there really aren't. Force of Will. Cast on Uro. What do you guys think of that play? Do you let Earl resolve and just try to do your show and tell stuff? Or do you counter it? Yeah, the uh, Omnitel player's camera lost some pixels. That happens with lag sometimes. It should come back. Right. Unless your playgroup allows them. What's the card that's two above Force of Will? Oh, in the Yard Terminus? Yeah, OK. Um, I'm going to Cunning Wish. Uh, so you don't have the weather, the storm anymore. Let's see. So Cunning Wish here. If this resolves, what is he looking for? Obviously, he already took. Did he get something from the sideboard? No. He did not. Right? God, I think my memory is going. He did not get anything from the sideboard, right? Right, chat? Am I misremembering? Okay, now he's tutoring for something. I'll pass. Uh, what'd you get there? Uh, Sublime Epiphany. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, hit you for four. Yeah, that's six. Uh, I'm going to waste your trot. Uh, okay, I'll float a blue. Uh, pass. Okay. Thank you, 10. Still in game one here. This has been a good one. Everybody was predicting a, a, a quick auto win for Omnitel, but it has not been that so far. I'll adjust Jesse's board so you can see his graveyard a little better. Brainstorm. Jesse's at six, so he needs to figure out something to do to end this game now he has a fetch it's good if he doesn't brainstorm well for another turn but sublime epiphany is a really cool card in omnitel does chat feel like sublime epiphany belongs in this deck or is Jesse reaching here? 
trying out a new card. Is Sublime Epiphany good enough? It's way better when it costs zero. Yeah, that's true. But is there something else that he could be running instead of Sublime Epiphany that's just way better? Is, I guess, my question. I'll pass. So nothing for Jesse. Uh, combat. Sure. Yep. Or, going to. Uh, put you to a one. Yep. Sorry. One. Yep. Uh, Spell Jack. Waste the trap. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm done after that. All right. Go get you. All right, they're going to game two. So, all right, this is to start the game. And I forgot how to change life totals for a second. There we are. Hex drinker. Okay, so I was right about that. That's definitely worth bringing in. And here it is. And if you like Paper Legacy, hit the follow button and follow us on Twitter as well because you'll see on the bottom of the screen the poll to decide what format we play on Monday nights. Very important stuff. All right, so Jesse drops to 17 using his Ancient Tomb to grow the Hex Drinker. Looks like three times. Yep, three levels. So it is now a... What is it now? How big is Hex Drinker now? He's a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, okay. So he's at 16? Yeah. Okay. Start with a brainstorm. Yep. It's all. Hex Drinker better than Shifting Ceratops. I think... I think... I think you're right. I think Hex Drinker is a better card in Legacy than Shifting Ceratops. My Shifting Ceratops rant last week was specifically comparing it to Questing Beast and saying that more people who can cast Shifting Ceratops in their deck should be. And they're not. Are the first cards you're taking out Swords and Terminus? I don't know. These players played against each other last week, and um, Shifting Ceratops crushed Phil when he was on a he was on a different deck though. He was on Grixis Tricks. Those matches are on our YouTube channel, by the way. Nine zero SMT nine zero SMTG on YouTube is our channel. Make sure you follow our YouTube channel, subscribe. I mean, um, to check out those vods. All right, so Hex Drinker grows here to a. Going to be a 12. Um, I will. I will pass after that. I'll crack this in your set. The Jovial Pessimist. Thanks for the follow. Thank you, everyone, who's hit follow tonight. I hope more of you hit follow, but we've got a lot of followers tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We also hit a bunch of subscribers tonight, which is awesome. So thank you, everyone. Phil resolving a fetch here. Any modern players here tonight? What do um, modern players 
feel right now about modern? Is it going to be a lot better after the ban-restricted announcement today? I've been trying to get modern on our, our stream. Do we normally operate out of a storefront? We do not. Not sure what you mean by that. Veil on a brainstorm for some reason. Maybe just trying to cycle. Modern pilots are warming up. Yeah. And we did a long talk earlier about Astrolabe in Legacy. But um, obviously it got by into Modern, not Legacy. But um, it's been a while since we've had Astrolabes on our stream, actually. Oh, no, we had some last week. We had some last week. Oh, yeah. So uh, before COVID, we were recording matches at a store here in New York City called Game Storia. Um, we started streaming actually after the shutdown of New York City. That's when we first ever started streaming. Uh, so we're new on Twitch. We were uh, recording matches for YouTube for a, for a couple of months before then. And uh, shout out to Roland Chang. He started the MTGPO Facebook group, Paper Online, and um, started getting everybody together to play webcam magic. Surgical resolving here. Let's just tune into the players for a moment. I'm going to interrupt myself to find out what's going on. I'm guessing, are there any swords or council's judgments in your deck? Yeah, I have. Uh, currently, I have three swords to plowshares in my deck. OK, and how about council's judgments? No council's judgment. OK. Boarded the deck. Right. Yep, OK. OK, so Brainstorm got surgicaled. I was just checking what was happening there. Um, awesome that you moved to Upper West Side. Welcome to New York City. And yeah, when things come back to normal, which hopefully will be soon, definitely come out to Game Story and play with us. I'm sure we're going to have a way more robust setup for streaming and recording at the shop once all this ends. I'm looking forward to that. For now, I'm loving the webcam magic. It's been a lot of fun. I started saying about the MTGPO Facebook group. That's where this all started, us streaming webcam magic. So make sure you check out the MTGPO Facebook group. All right, Uro Trigger here, and he Caracas it back to his hand in response. Clever. Okay, I'll go to 11. Yep. Uh, this goes to 8. I'm going to ponder. Okay. And what's Phil's life total? He's a 14. Okay. I keep losing uh, track of I'm life. I'm going to keep all on top. Until you find people. Draw. Okay. Ponder. <clears throat> ponder resolves, leaves them all on top. Island here for Jesse. Swinging. I'll play another hex drinker. Okay. Um, I'll pump it for one. Okay. And I'll pass. Diogo, thanks for the follow. Uh, play uh, Snow Covered Forest for turn. Sure. Uh, cast the arrow. Yep. Go to eleven. Uh, I'm gonna put a misty into play. Um, I'm gonna bounce this again. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce this guy. Okay. Um, eleven. I think we're at eleven all. I believe. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to swords your uh, other hex drinker. Okay, so I gain two. Go to uh, 13. I'm going to crack the Misty. Okay, go to 10. You go to 10. Yep. Crack the Misty. How does Phil deal with this Hex Drinker, which now has protection from everything? Am I right with eight counters? Cannot be targeted in any way. Terminus? Let me take a quick look at Hex Drinker. Yeah, it has protection from everything, and it's a 6-6. Six, six. Phil's answers are Council's Judgment, Terminus, Obviously, making a bunch of angels. That's about it. Seems tough. Um, I'll say go. Cards? Um, I have four cards in hand. Okay, no terminus off the top. Plan Island for turn? Yep. Thank you, Andy. Thank you for watching. Uh, play Arrow? Um... Oh, good catch, Damon. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to force pitching Cunning Wish. Go to 12. Uh, sh sure. Okay. Can he escape here? It looks like he only has five total cards in the graveyard. Ponder. So that's off the table now. Oh, unless he, I, I'm not sure if he played a land. I thought he did, but maybe not. Yeah, councils were sided out. So he really only has Terminus as an option here. He's shuffling off Ponder. Not looking good for Phil at the moment. An Earl resolving would have been one more turn of opportunity to, to stop this Hex Drinker. And I don't know how many cards Jesse has in his hand, but he might just be holding on to, let's say, a Shifting Ceratops for when and if this Hex Drinker dies, the turn after just dropping it in haste, killing him. All right, that's a scoop for uh, for Phil. So we're going to go to the game three here. Like Jason, I think I've played you maybe twice or three times, and I lost every time, I'm pretty sure. If I've beaten you, I don't remember. Was that the 1K in February? Um, yeah, I, I don't remember. I know I played you, Jason, at our NYC Eternal private event. And it was the first time I met you, I think. I'm not sure. I have not played at Undiscovered Realm in Westchester. Okay, we played in round five, yeah. Oh, Jason, that's right. They like, um, if I remember correctly, you were supposed to top eight by because you beat me and they put me in the top eight for some reason. I remember some kind of a mix-up happened. Top eight, I did not. I think that was when I was playing Bug Control or Bug Pile. I was playing Bug Pile for a bit at the beginning of this year, even though everyone 
was explained to me that Bug was not good because Snoko was better, I still did pretty well. I just love Leovold. Is, is that a problem? You want 19? Yeah, I'm going to brainstorm. I'm going to cast a veil. Sure. Okay, I'll draw them. Brainstorm is awesome. Crack this? Sure. 18. Thank you, Ten. Believing that Phil, Roland, and I are some of the best of the best. I, I appreciate that. I got a draw. Yep. Play for Flutter Strand. I guess what I was trying to say before was I, uh, I just don't have. I'll pass. I just don't have top finishes to prove I'm any good at this game. But I appreciate it. I also don't play in many big events. Grand Prix, SCGs, whatnot. I just don't even bother. Is that bad? I'd rather play side events. I have six cards, yeah. Uh, I'll cast Ponder. Sure. You know what? That's kind of the perfect way to describe my skill level. I'll, like, come up hard on a bunch of side events on a GP weekend, but not play in the GP. Because I know I'll just scrub out. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yep. Um, I'll put on top like this and draw. Sure. And pass. Uh, play Misty and pass. Okay. Um, I'll pass. Yeah, side events are fun. I like the flexibility of just like signing up for a for an event, playing. What is it? Three or four rounds. Get your prize. You know, what, what? what is it, usually like a box or something? If you 4-0 or whatever? I can't even remember. But, um, and then just go get some food, walk around, buy a bunch of singles, wait a while, join a draft. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's my ideal experience at one of the big events. But by all means, if people love playing in the big events, I mean... Go for it. It's just not really my thing. I just don't really do that. Yeah, same. Like, e even, at, even at, like, a weekend 1K or something, it goes, you know, by, by finals, if, if I make the finals, I'm, like, so burnt out, I don't even want to play Magic anymore. But I get it. Some people just thrive in that setting, like playing round after round after round, and they, they feel like they almost get better over time. Um, and, you know, they, they love the challenge of it, and I'm all for that. Yeah, go nuts. Oh, show and tell here. I will force it pitching an arrow. Oh. I'll force back, oh, sorry, you had 16. Um, I'll go 17. I'll force pitching a days. Uh, 
force is resolved. Uh, force again, uh, pitch uh, another force. Force pitching force, 15, and you've got three cards? Three cards left. Or cast a veil. I'll spell pierce the veil. Jam some emotes. Okay. So that force is on the show and tell, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're good. Cast arrow? Cast arrow. Sure. Results. Uh, trigger on the stack. I'm going to crack this. Okay. So you'll be at 17 life. I get a Mystic Sanctuary. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put forcible back on top. Okay. Drop. All right. So forcible force of will back on top and then drawing it seems really good here. I wonder if he has another blue card in hand. Because he did pitch a force to a force there. But maybe he knew he can put... Hmm, I don't know. All right, so fifth land makes that... Well, he's going to flash back a row. Okay. Uh, exiling these five? Hold on. Um, I'm going to cunning... I'm going to cunning wish in response. All right, well, exhaust what happens here. Yep. Uh, let me get. We're real still in the stack. Yeah, you can have it. Okay. Uh, Cunning Wish resolves. What do you look for uh, here? I'm going to avail summer. Okay. I'm going to avail summer. Cunning Wish is exiled, yeah. by the way. Yes. Thanks, Chris. Yep. Um, yep. All right. Thank you, chat. That was all. Sure. Yep. Uh, I'm not going to put anything into play. Okay. Cards uh, in I'll pass. What's up? Cards in hand? Four. Okay. I'll pass to you. Okay. <laughs> High tide. Nice. Um, I'll pass. How many, and this is kind of a show of hands question, how many people in chat watching right now have played webcam magic quite a bit lately? And where have you played it? Where, who have you been playing against? What events, what people? Let me know. Game three, drop. Yep, go to 11, you're 20. Misty, uh, um... I'll play a land for turn. Good. Is City still in yes. play? Oh, yeah. Uh, did I put a force in play? Yeah. Yes, Ponder. Yeah, that results. Thank you, chat. I wasn't looking at their match. Hmm, monthly league for pre-modern, special events for old school. Go. Uh, pass. It's not looking good. I'll pass. Uh, I'm going to cast an entreat, or I'm going to put the miracle trigger on the stack. Uh, I'm going to crack both these guys. Okay. Cards in hand? I have um, four. The monthly pre modern, what does that entail? What, what, what do you mean by monthly pre modern? Is that just a one day thing? Or is it like a league? Um, Chris, 
Cool. It's like a league. I'm going to make three angels. How many cards do you have? I have five cards. All right, that was awesome. Has anyone played? Oh, they, yeah, there's a link to the pre-modern group. Awesome. Has anyone played um, modern, modern, popper, or there was some other form I was going to ask about, but let's just say those two, modern or popper webcam matches recently? I'm gonna do that yet. I'll go to combat. Okay. Oh, pioneer. Uh, That's what I'm gonna ask. Yep. Twenty five, you're twenty one. On the draw step, I'm gonna loan. Sure. I'm not gonna put anything into play. Yeah, I was actually asking about pioneer. Modern, pioneer, or popper. I couldn't think of what the other format was. Has anyone played those webcam lately? So bored with popper. <laughs> Played some modern, okay. Is that a scoop for Jesse? Yeah, that's a scoop for me. Oh no! Phil, yeah. you are the grand champion of the evening. Congratulations, you made it. Wow. Oh. You are through to the ultimate championship on Wednesday night. Do you have anything to I'm gonna say? go. All the way with Teferi, Master of Time, baby. Let's go <laughs> and treat the Angels. What do you do? <laughs> Jesse, how, how are you feeling about this matchup coming into it? Uh, the fact that he has nine counter spells and Caracas, mm -hmm. not particularly good. Um, okay. Plus the double the double click. Um, I mean, Hex Drinker got there, but um, right, right, yeah, right. I may have to rethink rethink the wish the wish board a little bit 